Today, three wedding venues here in Oklahoma City that are all inclusive, or at least almost. Yesterday I put out a video talking about ways to save money on your wedding. And a couple different of those ways were to chop out things you didn't necessarily need or choose things that you were as really important to you and things that weren't as important maybe just scale back on. Today it's not what we're talking about at all. We're talking about three different venues that are all inclusive. These venues are probably going to cost you more money than doing everything yourself, but there is going to be less stress doing it this way. And these venues here in Oklahoma City are gorgeous. They are worth the look. So everyone I list, we're going to be down. They're going to have URLs down in the description. So go to their website, check them out, and every single one of them is worth your time. Trust me. All right, now first place on our list is going to be the Rose Briar Place. This place, just like the, na the name sounds, is absolutely beautiful. I'm actually on their website right now and I'm just gonna do this in a really easy fashion I'm just gonna read from top to bottom the list of services that they have listed on their website um, And maybe even tell you some things that whatever I called them to get some information for you guys uh, The things that they told me uh, were kind of average that people would typically want from their weddings and what those things cost All right, so list of services starting at the top here um, so list of services uh, use of our chapel outside ceremony space reception hall patio bridal and groom private dressing rooms, snacks and drinks provided for the wedding party, ceremony, setup and cleanup, 45 minute rehearsal with coordinator, guest, re guest registration table and writing pins, easel for bridal party portrait display, baby grand piano, AV sound technician included with our DJ, wedding day coordinator, aisle candles, Pedestals inside with uh, wine barrels outside. Tables and chiaveri chairs. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Covered patio with fans, heaters, a and a see-through fireplace. Fire pit and traditional seating. Those things sound like they'd probably be fantastic in the wintertime. Black tablecloths and black cloth and napkins. A security guard when bartending service is used. A monogrammed cocktail napkins, monogrammed, monogrammed cocktail napkins, assorted centerpieces to choose from, supervised professional wait staff, professional DJ, dance floor, indoor outdoor reception area, silver punch bowl, silver coffee urn, silver champagne bucket, choice of catering packages, votive, votive? candles and mirrors for reception hall tables. Two 50-inch plasma TVs for video presentation. Two custom bride and groom cakes with silver stands. Our signature wedding punch, tea, water and coffee. Deluxe mixed nuts and mints. Glassware, plates and flatware. Gift tables and cake table. Going away bubbles. So this place really does offer a lot of things. I had to get tongue-tied going through that list. This place has a lot of things that you're gonna get with your reservation. Uh, the only things, once again, that they're not going to give you are gonna be your photographer. You're not gonna get alcohol and you're not gonna get floral with this venue. But everything else, that's worth that's worth booking this place just there to get all the headache out of the way. They're gonna have choices for you guys for dining and when I called them, they actually said that that's the main uh, package price upgrade is really on the dining. It is just a downgraded dining package. All right, so that was the Rose Briar place. Now, going on to our second venue, I'm gonna be talking about the Northwest Event Center and this event center is equally as beautiful. Um, the venue is gorgeous. Actually, they have some, uh, they have some things Things here that I'm excited about and some things I'm not excited about and we'll get to those but right on the website once again down in the description you guys can go straight to the website and check this out as well along with me uh, it's gonna be the northwest event the most expensive package they have 
what I checked with them is going to be the $14,850 package. And that probably runs for about 200 people is what they said. You get, and what it comes with, I'm just gonna read it straight off the website once again, is four hour use for the reception, uh, for the ceremony and reception, four hour use to decorate setup of tables and chairs, full floor length linens, ivory or black slash black, elegant bridal rooms, relaxing groom's room, use of large foyer, use of fireside room slash ceremony, slash ceremony. It seats about 110, use of garden room slash reception, seats about 250 comfortably. Four hour rehearsal with use of room for dinner. We can, it, and in parentheses I say we can cater this. Wedding coordinator, which is a great thing. DJ for the reception and ceremony. They have free Wi-Fi, custom cake napkins, custom bridal cake, custom groom's cake. They, they have tea, water, coffee, fruit platter, assorted cheese and crackers and nuts. Choice of two entrees, two side items and dinner rolls. Plates, cups, napkins, flatware. Now, once again, this place has just a lot of great things. It's gonna get all your catering out of the way. They're gonna be able to get your DJ for you. I don't see anything on here about alcohol necessarily. So I, I'm, I assume that they could probably book you a bartender as well but I would definitely talk to him about that and just make sure that's included. And once again, for 200 people, if that's, if that's as big as your wedding's gonna be, then $14,850 for all of those things. Does it include, once again, your photographer? It doesn't sound like it includes floral. It doesn't sound like it includes alcohol, but once again, ask on the alcohol part. All right, and the last one we're actually gonna talk about is gonna be more of a budget option because I like to save money and I like to give a lot of tips to save money. This one, the most expensive package at this next venue is only gonna be $5,400. This venue is the old Trinity of Paseo event venue. And once again, link in the description, go check them out. It is oldtrinityofpaseo.com. Now, we're going to be looking at their most expensive package, which is the $5,400 event wedding package. And I'm just going to click more info. And it tells us all the stuff that's going to be coming with. Uh, it, do you get this? You get this venue for five hours and 30 minutes for your $5,000. That's pretty darn good. Um, you actually get the time slot of 4.30. They, are, they go ahead and tell you what time. Um, so that kind of helps you decide on when you're gonna have your wedding, I guess. You're gonna have your wedding between 4.30 and 10 p.m. is the time that slot they allot to you. They have wedding planners to run your event. They have servers and bartenders that are gonna be, that are gonna be on site. You are gonna get floral with this one. So I'm actually pretty impressed with this place. They're, you are gonna get floral, you're gonna get four bouquets, four boutonnieres, two corsages, and altar, altar flowers, four table centerpieces, and candles. You are going to get your wedding cake. You are going to be allowed to bring wine and beer yourself, which is pretty great. You are going to have a food buffet there and of course talk to them and see what options they have. I'm sure that's going to raise the prices up and down depending on what you order for, for dining. Um, you're going to get punch, linens, napkins, bottled water, forks. You are going to have time for your rehearsal. You are gonna have a sound system. You're gonna have a minister, your officiant, uh, and they're gonna do the setup and they're gonna do the setup and the cleanup. So that's great. Um, once again, photographer not included, alcohol not, not included, but they will provide the person to sell the alcohol, it sounds like. Um, and then they do include floral, which is a really big deal. None of these other places included floral and this is the cheapest place. Now, I will say the event venue uh, here at the Old Trinity of Paseo, um, is is gorgeous. The place itself is a really pretty place. I have to say though that the area surrounding the event venue is a little bit less than desirable if you're planning on having a black tie event. I would really like this uh, chapel a lot more if it had some area, some land around it. It would be a lot prettier place. I can see it being in a, in a very scenic field. Um, once again, the place is beautiful, just the, the neighborhood, the area it's in is just not as great. All right guys, so that was our three wedding venues that are all inclusive here in Oklahoma City. Now we had the Rosebriar Place, we had the Northwest Event Center, and we had the Old Trinity of Paseo Event Center. Go in the description and look at all these websites, check out their photos, check out all their options they have. To me, it really seems like it's gonna save 
save you a lot of stress on your wedding day. Yeah, it might cost a little bit more, except for that old Trinity of Paseo. That, that was pretty darn cheap. It might cost a little more overall, but it's gonna save you a lot of headache of having to make the choices and getting everything set up and everything like that. A lot of these places do the setup and the tear down for you. It's great. So go check those things out, guys. If you found value from this video, please do hit that thumbs up and subscribe. More videos are gonna be coming at you as time goes on. Thank you guys very much, and we'll see you in the next one.